ஐம் டாக்டர் யோகலக்ஷ்மி ஹெமட்டாலஜிஸ்ட் இன் கைசன் ஹெமட்டாலஜி ஆன்காலஜி நெட்ஒர்க் டுடே வி வில் சி அபவுட் அப்ளாஸ்டிக் அனீமியா ஸோ வாட் இஸ் அப்ளாஸ்டிக் அனீமியா இட் இஸ் பேசிக்கலி அ ப்ராப்ளம் விச் இஸ் இன் த போன் மேரோ வேர் அவர் செல்ஸ் ஆர் நாட் ப்ரொடியூஸ் தட் இஸ் பிளட் செல்ஸ் ஆர் நாட் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் இன் ஃப்ரம் த போன் மேரோ ஸோ திஸ் கேன் ரிசல்ட் இன் ட்ராப்பிங் ஹீமோக்ளோபின் ட்ராப்பிங் பிளேட்லெட் கவுண்ட் அண்ட் ட்ராப்பிங் ஒயிட் பிளட் செல்ஸ் so all these can cause symptoms of anemia or there can be some features like uh, infections because of low wbc count that is white blood cells and there can be bleeding because of the low platelet count so all the drop in all these blood cells uh, can re- lead to other complications which is very fatal at times if not treated early so there are many types of aplastic anemia Uh, one is uh, inherited bone marrow failure syndromes that is it is because of the uh, genetic disease which we get from our parents uh, sometimes mostly to both the parents combine and they give the genes which are affected and that can lead to uh, reduced uh, production of the blood cells so these are called as inherited bone marrow failure syndromes uh, the next one is acquired aplastic anemia acquired aplastic anemia is not inherited it is it can be either idiopathic acquired aplastic anemia where we do not know the cause and it can be sometimes cause may be known like some drug induced radiation induced like that uh, drug induced uh, aplastic anemia should be mainly treated by withdrawing the drugs like that uh, in case of idiopathic aplastic anemia it can be either uh, severe aplastic anemia or non severe variety so basically how the aplastic anemia is diagnosed it is mainly diagnosed by a simple blood test like uh, cbc complete blood count and also the reticulocyte count how reticulocyte count is it tells you how the bone marrow is producing the red blood cells and uh, next thing is bone marrow examination bone marrow examination is a must to diagnose aplastic anemia and we have to see how the mother cells which form the blood cells in our body are present in the bone marrow whether they are decreased and if at all decreased is there any other changes in the bone marrow and how is the cellularity of the bone marrow that have that can be diagnosed only with a blood uh, with the bone marrow examination that is called bone marrow aspiration and biopsy it is a simple procedure just take some 15 to 20 minutes and a bedside procedure uh, which is done usually under local anesthesia and uh, it's it's painful but it's less painful which can be bared by the adults so how is the, this aplastic anemia treated in non severe aplastic anemia uh, supportive medications supportive transfusions are given along with it can be treated with some medicines orally oral medicines but whereas in case of severe aplastic anemia the there are two options of treatment one is bone marrow transplant which is a curative option but that can be done only in a young individual let's say less than 40 years and uh, this bone marrow transplantation can be done only if there is a matched uh, donors for the bone marrow for the stem cells there must be a matched donor and we do the bone marrow transplant only in those uh, individuals if bone marrow transplant is not possible then we can go for uh some medicines like immunosuppressants what we say as atg and the cyclosporin like that some we have some tablets and also some injections can uh, cure a certain percentage of people so aplastic anemia is a curable disease but it should be done earlier for the results to be good the treatment should be started earlier for the results to be good thank you